a few months ago I got an idea that why not to model or make functions of all those things that we learned in our class of engineering or sciences. Uh, for example, talking here about the signal systems, uh, we have to deal with a lot of transforms like Fourier transform, the Fourier series, Z transform and the Laplace transform. So there are a lot of functions which are available to do this, but there are also a lot of which are not. For example, to calculate the Fourier uh, series, I haven't found a code in um, MATLAB. And, uh, to calculate the Fourier uh, transform as well, but, they, but there was a function called FFT in it. And I just uh, tried to work hard on it to understand how it works, how to find the, the same as uh, theoretically we find the Fourier series and Fourier transform. So same thing is about to happen now that of while learning uh, uh, numerical methods, uh, I was encountered by a method uh, trapezoidal rule uh, to, to approximate the area under the curve. Uh, so as we uh, know that as the number of as the number of trapezoids get increased, uh, the error of degrees. So there was a function, a build function traps T R A P Z to calculate the trapezoidal rule. But the function that uh, don't show about the errors, whether they are relative errors or absolute errors, and also I don't uh, have that much flexibility that I was interested in. So I made more function with the name of trap, T-R-A-P, and its code will be available soon in the form of a uh, description or a link. So let's get started to demonstrate SYMSX. To declare symbolically my variable X as I'm using it. For the instance, I'm just uh, using uh, a simple function, 1 over 1 plus X squared and I'm integrating it from negative 1 to 3 and I'm just using a, a 1 trapezoid which is my double x 1. By using this we came to know that the trapezoidal value is 1 by 2 my actual value is 2.0344 and the true error is this and I have 41.0158 percent of absolute error which is a huge amount of error. So as we know if we increase the number of trapezoids we will get absolute value uh, almost uh, the value like close to our actual value. For example, I just increase the number of trapezoids from 1 to 2, so I'm using 2 trapezoids for this. So my trapezoidal value is 1.6, which is increased from 1.2, and actual value is still the same. My error is also decreased, and you can see 41% uh, to 21.35% my error is decreased. If I just uh, take maybe um, 6 trapezoids, for instance, so my just error is approaching to uh, 1%. Let me take 100 trapezoids. So as I'm very close to the, um, as I'm using very much trapezoids, so I will get very accurate answer and area under the curve. So as you can see, is my trapezoidal value, actual value, all those things are sent up to the four uh, decimal values. True error is 10 raised to the power minus five, which is very very less. And here is my absolute error, which is 0 0.0037 percent, which is very, very small value. So there are also a lot of functions which are about to come, maybe about Simpson rule and uh, Gauss. Uh, quadrature and all these things uh, and then I'm gonna make a GUI that uh, to compare to give just a one value of function and see its value in a trapezoidal rule or in Simpson rule and then in uh, Gauss uh, uh, quadrature uh, method and see that which uh, method is more accurate and what are the values difference and what are the error difference between them. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye.